Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making ham and cheddar broccoli pasta in a Ninja Foodi. Alright guys, I'm starting out in my Ninja Foodi. I've set on a saute setting. I have it preheated. I'm going to start by adding a little bit of olive oil in there. Now this recipe is made to be made in the oven, but we're going to try it in the Ninja Foodi and see how it turns out. Now I have 14 ounces of ham here. This is pre-cooked like ham sticks that I cut up in little uh, cubes. I'm going to get this in here and saute it for a few minutes to bring out the flavor of the ham. So when I start to brown this up and get it looking good, I'll bring you guys back. All right, now that my ham sauteed for a while and it's starting to brown up, and the reason for that is that really brings out the flavor in the ham to brown up to get a little bit of a crust on it. I'm going to add in three cups of hot water. And make sure it's hot, guys, because when you mix in this uh, pasta mix, you want the cheese to dissolve in it. You don't want it to get all clumped up. And this has never been done before in a Ninja Foodi. This is the first time you're going to see it right here. So let's hope we don't mess this up. Now I have these Noor's pasta sides. You can buy them at most grocery stores. I'm using the cheddar broccoli. And the recipe's on the back here, but I'm altering it, like I said, for the Ninja Foodi. So I'm using different quantities of water and such. So hopefully it works out. I'm going to put three packs in. And guys, these are really good just by themselves as a side dish. And you can't eat them, they're like a dollar a pack. So I'm going to get these down in here. And guys, we're going to add more broccoli because the broccoli you get in here just is not enough. We want this to be extra good. Give that a stir. Now I'm going to add in about two cups of fresh chop broccoli if I don't drop it all on the floor okay that's looking good guys now I'm gonna put my pressure cooker lid on the foodie make sure we're set on seal I'm gonna cancel a saute setting and I'm going to I'll turn my power off and turn it back on because I put the pressure cooker lid on. I'm going to set this pressure cook on high pressure for six minutes. Then when that six minutes is up, I'll do a natural release of the pressure and I'll bring you guys back. Okay, guys, now that our six minutes are up and I did that quick release of the pressure, I'm just going to give this a quick stir. Now you can see that's a little uh, lacking of liquid. We're going to add in a half a cup of milk. And like I said, guys, I am altering the recipe in my head to my experience with cooking. So hopefully this turns out good. Now that I have that milk in there, just turn it around quick. I'm going to take some Monterey Jack cheese. This is shredded. I'm going to put a healthy coating on top here. Now this is a two-cup pack. We're probably going to wind up using all of it. We'll just go in with all of it. I want to spread it out even. The fun doesn't stop there, guys. I'm going to take some Italian seasoned breadcrumb. You could also use plain breadcrumb or pine coat breadcrumb, whatever you prefer. I just happen to have Italian on hand. I'm going to put a healthy coating of that on top of the cheese. This is going to give us a nice crusty cheese when this is done. And I'm going to take a little bit of cooking spray. This is canola cooking spray, canola oil cooking spray. Spray that on top of the breadcrumb because that'll help that crisp up without it burning. And I'm going to put down my air fryer lid turn on my power. Now I'm going to set this to the air crisp setting. That's like an air fryer. It's set at 390. We'll leave it at that. I'm going to give it four minutes. After the four minutes are up, I'll check it. And if it looks good, I'll bring you guys back. If not, I'll add a minute or two to it. But I think four minutes are going to do it. Alright guys, that's four minutes. That's looking good. This is ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. Alright guys, let me get in here and give this a try. You see the breadcrumbs are nice and toasted. The cheese is melted. A little bit of cheese in that bite there. Guys, that's really good. You can taste the cheese coming through from the pasta, the cheese sauce. You can taste the cheese that I put on there. Get some of this ham. The pasta's cooked through. Ham's tender. 
I'm from sauteing frying a ham help develop the flavor more okay there you have it ham and cheddar broccoli pasta and ninja foodie give it a try thanks for watching and until next time I'll see ya